So we're rolling. I'd say this is probably my first entry. It's about four o'clock and I've just been dropped on a deserted island completely solo to survive for the next two nights. I have some limited gear to get myself through, so all I have to do is catch my own food for survival and try not to get into too much trouble. Hell, I've already found my own Wilson too. This is gonna be one insane adventure, guys. Stay tuned. I knew we'd find something exciting if we made the effort and went for a little explore in the rock pools. Feels so juicy. <sighs> it's under the jet ski. <laughs> They've just dropped me off, and I'm gonna run through exactly what gear I have so you guys know, and then I better set up before the sun goes down any further. So I basically brought all my dive gear. It's just the gun, the wetty, mask, fins weight belt. I decided to actually go with all the dive gear just to be as safe as possible. I don't want to be cold and I don't want to be diving without the stuff I'm used to because diving by yourself is extremely dangerous. So I thought I'd just stick to what I know, stick to what I'm comfortable diving with. And the rest of the stuff is just up on this hill. Oh. It's just my swag. I have a smoker here with some wood chips and some methylated spirits. I got a water bottle. And then inside this Pelican case is my drone, my light, my GoPro, and I brought myself one trusty old knife. This is all I've got guys, so I've literally got to save this water. There's only one bottle here, and I can't make a fire on this island. It's a very special island. You can see all the bird life going around. It's just untouched by humans, really. I'm gonna have to look for somewhere to set the swag up in here. Got the swag because I don't want to cut down any native wood or anything like that. Oh, we're already down bad. This swag has had some repairs in the past and I think I just re-snapped that bit. Oh, okay, I think step one of this survival mission is gonna be to find out how to keep this straight. Uh, somehow I gotta tie this stick onto the pole. We might have to go for a walk and see if I can find something to tie it up with. <laughs> okay, something. I've just discovered this island seems to have a couple holes around it. Could be the birds. There's these types of birds that dig little burrows and stuff. There's so many birds through here. They... <laughs> okay, that was not staged. Yeah, they kind of look like bats, the way they swoop you. Um, I don't want to disturb the bird life too much, so we're not going to go too deep in here. So I don't want to break my ankle either, it's day one. But we just got to find something to wrap this stick up with. If you twirl it a bit, that could be our twine. Oh man, these holes are everywhere. I spent a while tying twine, didn't work. So I decided to work smarter, not harder. We're gonna run a stick like that. Swag complete. The plan is tomorrow morning that tide's gonna recede out and expose this beautiful reef, which I'll walk across, jump in off the edge and go for a dive, see if I can spear a fish or something like that. Luckily for me, this area holds some of the best eating, best tasting fish ever. Coral trout, black spot tuskies, mangrove jack, Spanish mackerel. I've just been shit on, on my arm, hit my shoulder, and I think it's on my neck. Looks like I'm having a shower. Wow. I haven't had a bird crap on me for years. It's on my neck. I have a feeling that's not the last time I'm gonna be crapped on by a bird this trip. That sun's faded away behind the clouds, so now what I'm gonna do is take this little light that I got. Oh, this looks terrifying. I'm gonna check some of the rock pools behind here, see if I can find some cool creatures. We'll have a little explore. Surprisingly warm. Found our first rock pool creatures. Some little crabbies. There's another guy hiding under the rock here. Look at that thing. Don't even know what that is. Man, look at the coloration on this guy. This one looks sick. Oh, there he goes. Stay still, buddy. Look at that color. Looks like a big spider. 
I've just found a bigger rock pool here. There's got to be something exciting in this. Maybe it'll be the king crab of all the little crabs hiding in here. <gasps> There's a turtle. Guys, it's a big turtle in this rock pool. Check this out. I knew we'd find something exciting if we made the effort and went for a little explore in the rock pools. It's just a big old turtle. It hasn't moved yet, but he seems to just have jumped in this little shallow spot for a rest. It could be a big female too. They've been, um, it's breeding time, so they love to get away from the, from the males. Just wanted to make sure that she was actually all right and she did move as you saw and just put her head up and went and took a big breath which is really cool so i'm gonna leave her alone we're gonna walk back past head back to camp i think that's probably enough exploring exploring for tonight i'll check back in the morning make sure that she's got out on the high tide and everything should be all good oh only got a couple cuts on the foot Tomorrow will be the most important day of this challenge. I'm gonna rest up, try and get the best sleep I can. These birds are really noisy, but we'll see how we go. Good night, guys. Crap. Morning guys, just had the drone up earlier, so I wanted to make sure the uh, the big girl was okay. The tide's gone out a little further, so she's still sitting in there, shells out of the water, but she's having a sleep, so I'm not gonna disturb her. Last night was pretty good. The birds were so noisy, it was a bit windy, but I've woken up to a bit of rain, unfortunately. It's just spitting, but shouldn't really stop us from today's adventures. Just would have been cool to have a nice, clear day to show the beauty of this island, but um, we'll work with what we got. Luckily for me, when the sun rose, it burnt most of that cloud off. it's probably like 8 30 almost 9 and I've just been waiting for that tide to, to go out it's almost completely gone over the reef there so as long as we can get ourselves one fish which I'm pretty confident I can that's probably all I'll need today and then we'll just smoke it up <sighs> it's dive time not sure how cold the water is gonna be but I got my 3.5 mil salt skin wetsuit these things are absolutely awesome so i don't want temperature to be an issue i need to get dinner it's really important so i want to be warm i want to be safe and this thing does all that for me so i'm going to put the top on when i get out there because it's really hot i'm going to fully suit up and then i'm going to active track with the drone following me out across these flats here because i think i can see some reef sharks and some turtles already oh it's gonna be a hot one Woo!
I'm gonna get my fins ready and we're gonna drop off right here. Have a look around this ledge. I won't go out too deep because it gets pretty sharky, I think, but um, yeah, we'll try to stay safe, smack a trout or something, come back in with the tide. Should be able to just swim all the way in. So that's gonna be the plan. I've lost about three kilos of water weight just walking out here, which I didn't anticipate. And the drone's still actively tracking, which is awesome. So it should return to home, hopefully. And uh, yeah, we gotta get a fish. That's all I gotta concentrate on right now. Oof. All right, we got this. There's some turtles mating right in front of me. Float lines out. I'm on the drop off. Let's do this. I shoot a fish. As soon as I swam out in the deep, I was greeted by three big bronzies. It was thick as hell with sharks out here. Despite that, I continued searching for Tucker. Here's a beautiful sea snake cruising along the ocean floor, highly venomous. Found this little cray too. He was a bit small though. And then I spotted my dream fish, the Spanish mackerel. Maybe next time. Just the sound of my gun getting shot attracted this big dog within seconds. Finally, I found a perfect coral trout sitting on the bottom. The tide was now high enough for me to swim back into the beach, and I definitely wasn't the only thing coming in with the tide. got ourselves a beautiful coral trout. It was exactly what I was hoping for. What an absolutely epic dive. I can't get over that. That was so much fun, super dangerous, but we got ourselves a nice coral trout and I am so thirsty and hungry right now. I don't really want to film, so I'm just gonna wash this guy off and, and we'll get it prepared. It's a really good fish. It's not a huge one, but it'll be perfect. That'll fill me up. One good trout. Oh yes.
Thanks for your food, buddy. You're gonna be absolutely amazing on the smoker tonight. All right, let's take him up, get him out of the sun. I don't have a lot of time before he probably starts going off, so I might put you up here, buddy. Uh, oh. Okay, sit my trout there. Um, I'm gonna get dressed and smoke is out, so we're gonna get this thing pumping. I'll find a nice spot to, to cook it up. God. Oh, I'm gonna fill it up this trout and get prepared for the smoking. There we go, fillet number one. Filleting is easy with a sharp knife, holy crap. I'll skin them and um, yeah, I think we'll slice them up into, into steaks and smoke it like that. I might leave this here for now and we may come back to him and use him for something a bit later. Okay, I've just finished filleting up. I think I might do the cook up under this beautiful tree right here and hopefully don't get a bird crap on me. So we've got the fillets right here sitting on some leaves. It looks like last night a rat may have got into our wood chips. So something's nibbled through there and got in, but they should be all good. I'm absolutely starving, so I just want to get this cranking and then, um, yeah, we'll eat and go from there. I don't know. I need to chill out for a bit, I think. Oh, man. Okay, I think that goes like that. This sits on top. Let's fill this up with metho. Get old mate on top of here. Gonna load this up with the wood chips. From memory, I think you just put that on top and then the rack goes in. Yum. And the lucky last piece. We're gonna fit you in there somewhere. One fish goes a long way. Oh, and it's already starting to smoke here. I can feel the heat pumping out. We're gonna see these suckers looking amazing very soon. Does the whole shuttle open? Um, I'll keep it open, and then when it starts pumping, I'll shut it. I think that's it. Gotta be really conservative with this water. I probably got just over half. Oh. I'm just gonna check everything's going all good. Oh, lid's locked. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and I just realized, you know that little tray we put down? I just saw now that's to stop the uh, the fish dripping onto the actual wood chips and I guess wrecking them. So that's cool to know. It's really going along now. I am fanging for a feed. Absolutely starving. Ooh -wee. Oh man. Oh, I'm still cooking. Nearly there though. Yep, I think that's done. Check the big boy, they are finished. Oh yes, it's done. Take that off. Gotta let it cool for a tad, but I will try a little bit here. The meat's nice and white, crispy on the outside. That looks insane. So hot, but I'm so hungry. So it just browns the outside, and then look at that white meat in there. Oh, really good. Oh, it's still so juicy. Then you break it apart and just get that delicious white meat inside. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Gonna eat and get this drone up. Oh.
That was one of my top sunsets of all time. I'm not joking. It was absolutely beautiful. Hopefully I can capture just a glimpse of the beauty that this island has had to offer. I'm absolutely smashed after today's dive, so I think it's gonna be an early one for me. And I didn't actually tell you guys because I was waiting to surprise you, but I'm actually gonna be on this island for the next two weeks. A barge comes in and drops all my friends and family off here tomorrow. So I'll be patiently awaiting their arrival. So I just got to stick out this last night in the swag with the birds and then the crew will be rocking up tomorrow and I'll be on this island for two weeks straight. Hopefully there'll be some great fish shot, some beers drunk and an all round good time. I'm gonna end this one here guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. If you want to help support a little extra, head over to shorehawk.co and I'll see you guys when the next episode drops. Yeah.